Hey, this is Phone Arena's video review of the Samsung Wave, which is the first BADA based smartphone. BADA is uh, Samsung's own operating system, and uh, its purpose is to combine the goodness of having rich third party applications with a truly easy to use interface, which is going to appeal to the general customer. So let's take a look at the Wave and uh, see if it's going to help Samsung achieve its vision of smartphone for everyone. The Samsung Wave is a really good looking handset. It is uh, very thin and moreover it feels incredibly nice, very solid in the hand. Uh, much of its body is uh, made from metal, which of course uh, contributes to, its, um, <clears throat> to the nice weight it has. Uh, you see the metal part here comes all the way through the front. So, as a result, we have a very thin, elegant and um, <clears throat> solid feeling handset. The touch sensitive screen measures 3.3 inches and has a resolution of 480 by 800 pixels. It utilizes Super AMOLED technology, which delivers very high image quality. Of course, the screen is capacitive, so you won't have any problems using it. Below the display you will find a sentiment keys and a menu key, which can also bring up the multitasking menu. On the left side we have the volume rocker, on the right side we have the camera shutter and lock key, and on the top we have a 3.5mm headset jack and a micro USB port, which is covered with this sliding cap. On the back we have this 5 megapixel camera with LED flash. The battery door is um, removed when you press this sliding key here. Very easy and simple. And when you want to close it, it snaps firmly into place like this. On top of the bad operating system, the Samsung Wave uses the TouchWiz 3 user interface. It is very similar to what we know from TouchWiz 2. Here on the home screen you get uh, multiple home screen pages on which you can deploy your widgets. Adding and removing widgets gets done like that. You press the, this widget key here and here are your available widgets. Let's say we want to remove this one and now place it again here. Everything. Um, is very smoothly animated, which is a great and what we want to see. On the top you get this expandable notifications bar, very similar to Android. Here is the main menu again, nothing uh, out of the ordinary here. These are your apps, your icons. Um, here we get some um, third-party applications, those can be removed when you press the edit key here on the upper left part of the screen see how they can be removed and the others which come preloaded on the phone can be just rearranged so let's start by taking a look at the contact screen here is your contacts screen you get contacts groups favorites down below you have um, this is um, a common concept for better you get these expandable uh, fields with uh, additional options. Here in the Contacts app we can get our friends from certain social services. We click on Get Friends and we have, uh, you see we've, we have already added Twitter and on our unit we also have MySpace and Exchange ActiveSync. Um, we really hope this is uh, region dependent because it would be really a shame if Facebook is not an option. Let's take a look at the calendar app. Here it is, you can quickly change uh, your view from month to day or agenda view. Adding um, an appointment is very easy, you can choose a certain date, you can uh, double, you can click it again or click on create. Here it is, you tap your uh, title. There are some really crazy ideas going on here in the calendar. Um, let's say we want to create an event, we have our title, and let's say we want to 
set our start time to 4 p.m. 4 p.m. then click save so we have start time at 4 p.m. and um, end time at uh, 9 a.m. so what seems logical to us is that the phone would automatically um, <coughs> set the end time to something like 4 p.m. once we click on save but no we get this annoying message that end time cannot be before our start time so you have to manually come here and set your end time and then you can save the appointment which is uh, it may seem like a small detail but uh, such small details can really really uh, hamper the experience when it comes to social networking, uh, Samsung is shipping the Wave with two preloaded applications, one for Facebook and one for Twitter. Now, those are created by Samsung and they're not really the best ones out there, uh, but they can provide you with the basic functionality of the services. You can access it all from here, your social hub. Here you can get all kinds of info like uh, your messages, Facebook, Twitter, you can also see your emails here and let's say we want to check our Twitter here the app loads once it has loaded here are your latest uh, tweets you can choose to show more you can update your status here so this is basically it. You can check your tweets, you can retweet, reply, all the basic stuff is here. We just want to make a quick note here that this YouTube icon here does not open some incredible YouTube player. No, you go to the mobile version of the page and you can start your, uh, your videos from there, but uh, their quality is far, far from great. The web browser here is Dolphin 2. It uh, loads pages uh, pretty fast but at the cost of um, too high compression levels for the images. You see that scrolling is perfectly smooth. You can, um, to zoom, you can use either uh, multi touch, which works very nice, and uh, double tap. Double tap works very nice uh, here. Of course, not perfect, but very, very, very good. What really annoys us here is that <clears throat> your view keeps snapping once you scroll. Uh, you, you can just slide it nicely and smoothly. It just keeps snapping at certain positions, you see. Uh, of course, you can eventually get used to this, but it's still annoying at times. The browser supports flashlight content. Um, but it doesn't really work uh, very very well. Uh, for example, we get this uh, flash element and we want to zoom in. Zoom in some more and there it goes. We get the flash logo here and our element disappears. You can also play YouTube uh, videos, but even at the slightest uh, zoom level, the video um, <clears throat> begins to lag and eventually it becomes unwatchable. Let's also take a look at the music player. It is very nice. You have your filtering options here at the top. Very nice interface and your content here is a list. In landscape mode you get this um, beautiful view and you can switch between your CDs here. Here is the portrait view. You see a large album cover, your controls and even some more options. We really think that the Samsung Wave is a very good device. It has nice appearance, very elegant, uh, very solid construction. It also packs some quite serious hardware like uh, 1 GHz processor, Super AMOLED display, great HD video recording and uh, in addition you also get um, great sound quality during talks. On the software side of things, 
We enjoy how um, smoothly everything works because this makes using the, the handset very pleasant. <clears throat> but uh, when it comes to functionality, we really think that Samsung could have tried a bit better. Um, for example, the browser is um, not among the best ones uh, we've seen. We had uh, trouble um, setting up our email accounts. Uh, wow, well, in the meantime, we have uh, never had such uh, troubles with other handsets. Uh, Samsung apps is uh, quite poor as of now and of course we hope that more applications will become available shortly but with the Wave being the only handset um, working on BAD right now uh, we can see uh, this happen at least now in the short term. Still we believe that um, most of the issues that we encountered here um, in the Wave's interface can be easily worked out through a software update. For more information on the Samsung Wave and many other phones you can visit us at phonearena.com